News for the Seahawks. Thanks. Relyon is the world leader in the development and marketing of proton exchange membrane fuel cell technology. It sounds pretty technical, and it is. Their hydrogen fuel cells are used for backup power applications in a number of industries. Derek Dice simplifies the Spokane Valley Company's success in his latest edition of Made in the Northwest. Relyon was founded in 1995 as part of a Vista, but the company was privatized in 2003 and now makes hydrogen fuel cells for communication systems in a variety of markets. Including the cellular telephone industry, uh, the wire, wireline telephone industry, and the public safety and transportation sectors. They have partnerships with wireless carriers like AT&T and Sprint, partly because their technology has proven to work through all kinds of disasters. They're um, very robust when it comes to the power outages we see typically in the Gulf Coast regions, um, storms in, uh, in the central part of the states, as well as uh, just normal outages that might exist with the utility grid. Relyon's fuel cells go through thousands of hours of testing before they're put in the field. What started out as a cartridge in the mid-90s is now a module that houses the core technology. And they've been able to grow the capacity while actually making the system smaller. We increased the density by about two and a half times over what it was previously. And that gives just basically more bang for the buck for the end customer. They can buy a product that, that meets their needs and take up less space. And that's important for companies that have to pay for space to have these systems on site. But how do the fuel cells actually work? A proton exchange membrane, you can think of as a black box. It takes hydrogen on one side and oxygen from the ambient air on the other side. And through an electrochemical reaction, produces electricity that we use in our system. The only byproducts are heat and water. There's no emissions. There's no pollutants coming out of the system. It's very clean. After rely on staff builds the modules, they're married to other components in the chassis assembly area. We add the power modules to it, which are the, the core of the system that produce power. We add a controller um, circuit board and a DC converter circuit board, some additional fans, and a variety of, of wires and plumbing and so forth. The systems then go into this conditioning process, which can last up to nine hours, and they run through various cycles of temperature and power to make sure they're ready for the field. We actually are forcing the system to produce liquid water at the membrane, which allows the proton exchange to work. Relyon's models range from just 600 watts of power all the way up to 10 kilowatts, and their scalability is a very attractive feature. You can grow that system to whatever power level you need. You don't have to buy 10 kilowatts when you only need two. And because their systems are used all over the world, they have their own environmental chambers in-house. To run through full ranges of temperature that we might see in, in northern Canada from the, from the, the uh, e equator. Relyon sees huge potential for their products in the railroad industry and... We're seeing growth in, in areas that uh, use our systems for public safety. And they'll continue to provide solutions for backup power systems around the globe. For Maine the Northwest, I'm Derek Dice, KXY4 HD News. Thanks so much, Derek. Pretty amazing stuff there to see more products made right here in the Northwest or to even suggest a company for Derek to feature. You can go to KXY.com and look in the spotlight section.